Hello guys and welcome, it is that SLB2 dude here today bringing you yet another Splatoon 3 video. Now, it's a little bit of a later video today, apologies for that, I had a very busy day. But, there has been some news, or a little bit extra news, of something that we of course already know about. But I'd like to say it's an interesting thing to still talk about, as it gives us a little bit more of an insight to how a special works. And it's this thing, the Reef Slider. Uh, Splatoon JP has finally dropped a little bit more information on the Reef Slider. And we got to learn a new important detail that pretty much clarifies things. Now, instead of me reading it on Splatoon JP, I'm actually going to read it on Splatoon ENG. It's basically Splatoon JP, but they provide proper, more exact translations uh, to English so we can understand what's really going on. So, I'm going to start reading. This is a new special weapon, the Reef Slider. Hop on this shark-shaped float and rush in at high speeds along the guiding lines that appear. It can take out any opponents that it makes contact with. If you go off course or press the ZR button, it will explode and send ink flying. There's a small gap of vulnerability right after activation, but once you start rushing in, enemy attacks can't stop it. You can try to avoid said gap by activating from a distance, but you can't change direction once it gets going. Aim carefully and don't drive into the water. Now this is pretty exciting because before I thought if you get on the recycler and while you're riding, I thought that whole process when you're riding until you actually stop and explode, you are vulnerable. But this is pretty much confirmation that when you start moving, you will be invincible, which is great. What this means is that whenever you set up your reef slider, you just need to make sure that you're further back, out of trouble, and then you can pretty much go ahead and rush into any sort of situation, and then hopefully get an easy splat. Now of course you gotta be careful and be mindful of which, uh, I guess, engagements that you're wanting to go for, but the fact that there's a large majority of time of when you are invincible, that's a big plus and a lot of weight of someone's shoulder. I think what they probably now just have to think about is how they get themselves in and how they get themselves out. I think the escaping part of the re-slider is probably going to be the most tricky thing because it's going to be easy of course just to be around no one and then send yourself in there but trying to make sure that you can get out or trying to make sure that you can get out of this situation and paint around you or make sure that people don't pounce on you after it because they were expecting your re-slider to slide in so I feel like things like that people just have to be a little bit more mindful of. Now here I am in my editing software, just so I can check how many frames of vulnerability will you have until you're invincible. So uh, I'm just going to slow down the clip and uh, try and go frame by frame right here. So it seems like from this frame right here, as soon as you get on the reef slider right there, you should be vulnerable from that first frame. But I'm going to continue on. And I believe as I continue on, when you start moving, you will be basically invincible. So all this part right here, this is about, we're about 33 frames in. All this part here, you should still be vulnerable. So just coming up to frame 40, right here, frame 40. So it seems like from 40 to 41 frames, I think it's exactly 40 frames until you actually start moving. So. So that's like half a second and a little bit, so that's still pretty dang good. I feel like it'll be easy enough to basically keep yourself safe for 40 frames wherever you place yourself or wherever you start using the recycler. So um, yeah, that's just a rough estimate or the most exact estimate because I did it frame by frame, but uh, either way, what do you guys think of the Reef Slider's invincibility? Do you think it's a good change? Do you think it's a bad change? It's a lot like how Splashdown and Kraken, but just put together in just a diff way different way, uh, which I'm I'm do totally down for. I just hope some better weapons actually have it because right now the Aero Spray is the one that actually currently has it. So. Um, yeah, honestly, that's all I gotta say. Uh, make sure to check out my Nintendo Direct Reactions. Great video. Make sure to check out yesterday's video too. It was the Splatoon 3 Special Weapon Ultimate Tier List. I gave out a lot of info there and basically gave a whole synopsis of how I think all 15 weapons are going to work and how well they are going to be in Splatoon 3. So make sure to go check that out and also check everything else out that I've been making for Splatoon 3 about the Nintendo Direct. They're all in the description. All those kinds of videos are in the description. Just go ahead, binge watch it all. So 
that's all I gotta say for this video. Thank you so much for watching this one. I'm actually going to be going to America, so you might see the setup change uh, in some future videos coming up. So you might notice a little bit of a different background. But other than that, make sure to like this video, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch, both in the description below. Do it for both if you're feeling generous. Make sure to hit the bell notification button next to the subscription button to let you guys know whenever I upload a video. Also, consider joining my public Discord channel where you can go ahead and talk to myself. The Dude Society community, also the greatest place on earth to be notified whenever I go live for a Twitch stream because at the same time, gonna be streaming in America, it's gonna be a little bit different. So either way, all of that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out tomorrow's one. And yeah, that's all I gotta say. Thank you for watching and I shall see you guys in a future video.